Hello everyone, my name is Heather Scott and I'm currently the head of obstetrics at the IWK Health Centre in Halifax, Nova Scotia. As the COVID-19 vaccine becomes available to younger age groups, more and more pregnant and breastfeeding individuals will have access to the vaccine. We know that there are many questions about the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine for pregnant and breastfeeding women and individuals. We hope that this short video helps to answer some of those questions that you may have. And we encourage you to ask further questions of your prenatal care provider about vaccine safety. There are resources that are available to you on the IWK and the Nova Scotia Health websites. In addition, the Reproductive Care Program of Nova Scotia also has information on their website. At the conclusion of this video, we'll be providing those resources again to you. What happens if a pregnant woman or individual gets COVID-19? Most pregnant women or individuals who get COVID-19 will have mild to moderate symptoms or no symptoms at all. When compared to individuals who are not pregnant, there is a five-fold increased risk of being admitted to the hospital or the intensive care unit, and there's a potential risk of premature birth. What are mRNA vaccines? mRNA vaccines, such as the Moderna or Pfizer vaccines, are not new. They've been studied and used to protect people from infections for two decades. The COVID-19 mRNA vaccine has been found to prevent 95% of COVID infections after two doses have been given. The vaccine cannot give you COVID as it does not contain any live virus. The AstraZeneca vaccine is not being offered to pregnant women or individuals in Nova Scotia at this time. Is the COVID-19 vaccine safe in pregnancy? Initial vaccine trials did not include pregnant or breastfeeding women or individuals. Therefore, the risks of getting the COVID-19 vaccine during pregnancy are not totally known. However, a small number of individuals in the Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca trials were found to be pregnant after getting their vaccine. And many women and individuals have received a COVID-19 vaccine during the pandemic. To date, there have been no safety concerns or signs of increased risk to either mom or babe. The vaccine seems to protect mother from COVID-19 infection the same way that non-pregnant people are protected. Many vaccines are given in pregnancy regularly, such as the whooping cough and flu vaccines. The COVID-19 vaccine does not have ingredients known to be harmful to pregnant individuals or their babies. Are there any side effects from the vaccine? Common side effects include pain at the injection site, feeling tired, headache, chills, and fever. Overall, about 14 to 17 percent of people receiving the vaccine will develop a fever. If you develop a fever after your vaccine, Tylenol is safe to use in pregnancy and also safe if you are breastfeeding. Only about 1 to 2 percent will develop a high fever. A persistent high fever, which does not respond to Tylenol, during the first trimester might potentially increase the risk of congenital defects or miscarriage. However, thus far, there is no evidence of an increased risk of miscarriage in those who receive the vaccine. Can I get the vaccine in the first trimester? Despite the small risk of high fever, the Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Canada an organization which helps to develop safe guidelines for pregnant women and individuals, has recommended that the vaccine be offered at any time in their pregnancy, including the first 12 weeks. Is the COVID-19 vaccine safe in breastfeeding? 
There is no research on the effect of the COVID-19 vaccine on breastfed babies or milk production, but there is no risk of breast milk containing the virus as the vaccine itself does not contain any live virus. For this reason, the vaccine is recommended for women and individuals who are breastfeeding. Are there benefits for the baby? There is some suggestion that if a pregnant woman or individual gets the vaccine, they may pass on immunity or protection to the baby. This is what happens when people get the flu or whooping cough vaccine in pregnancy. What are the recommendations then? The National Advisory Committee on Immunization and the Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Canada recommend providing the COVID-19 vaccine to pregnant and breastfeeding women and individuals if the benefits outweigh the theoretical risks. The Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists support the use of all available COVID-19 vaccines approved in Canada in any trimester in pregnancy and also during breastfeeding. At this time, both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines are available to pregnant and breastfeeding women and individuals. What are your options? The decision to be vaccinated is based on your own personal values and understanding of the risk of COVID-19 infection versus the possible risk of vaccination. Things to consider when making your decision include the number of people in your community who have a COVID-19 infection, your interaction with other people on a day-to-day -day basis at work and at home, and your own health problems that may increase your chances of getting sick if you develop the COVID-19 infection. Our goal is to provide you with all the information and recommendations we have available and to help support you in your decision making. When you book your appointment to receive the vaccine, you will be asked to provide consent. It's important that you've read or listened to information about the safety of the vaccine and have talked to your care provider if you have questions. Thank you for watching this short video today. We hope that this has helped to answer some of the questions that you might have about the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. We encourage you to discuss any of these questions further with your prenatal care provider before you actually receive the vaccine. We are thankful that the COVID-19 vaccine is now available to pregnant and breastfeeding individuals. And we hope that this video helps you to make an informed decision about whether or not you will receive the COVID-19 vaccine.